Hello guys and welcome to Motorbeam. We are here to take a first look at the Tata Motors E-Vision which is right behind me. This is the latest car that Tata showcased at the Geneva Motor Show. So let's take a quick look at the car. Alright, so let's start with the exteriors of the car. And let me just say that it looks stunning in its current form. Starting from the front, you've got these really slim and smart looking headlamps which of course are LED and the grill starts right from the tip of the headlamp and goes all the way to the other side. It's got these amazing and huge alloy wheels which I'm sure are just for the show car and the actual car would come with smaller wheels which are definitely more practical for our roads. Moving on to the sides, gets these rather smart, however a bit unfunctional outside rear view mirrors and the grab handles draw inspiration from JLR vehicles like the Velar and others. Of course, Tara wants to show that they want to get into the electric vehicle space with this one and hence this is called the E-Vision and it proudly gets the EV badge here. At the rear, you again have slim looking tail lights and a rear diffuser. I will just try to show you different angles of the car. The car here on display gets a glass roof. You can see it from here. It's a full glass panoramic roof. And the interiors look rather interesting too. And just like that, we are inside the car now. The interiors are unlike any Tata ever seen before and draw huge inspiration from JLR products and even Volvo because of their minimalist nature. Looking at the steering wheel, it is well contoured and is a flat bottom unit with wood and piano black inserts. The instrument cluster is a full digital unit which you can partially see from here. The central air vent is rather slim on this concept car and it just gets a few buttons for the hazard lights, the glove box, the media and the drive modes. Now one very unique feature which draws inspiration from Ferrari is the passenger display through which passengers and even the rear passengers can see quite a lot. Again, moving on to the door cards, they look rather premium as well. And they also get really nice speaker grills, wooden insert and piano black inserts. The headrests here also look unlike any other C-segment sedan. Whereas this panoramic glass roof liberates a lot of light in the cabin. So checking out the rear seat space, there's quite a lot of leg room here. My feet are very comfortable. And there's an interesting central armrest as well, which seems to have space for rear seat controls, which may be added at a later stage. Again, a look at the rear door panels. And an interesting bit of detail here in the seat belt clip. To improve the sound experience, Tata seems to have added a speaker at the top of the roof as well. gets a frameless rear view mirror. Let's move on to the front seats. All right, having seen the interiors from the rear seat, let's now jump onto the front seat and take a detailed look at the interiors because there are a lot of interesting elements in here. Right off the bat, there are electrically adjustable seats and there's a lot more to the seats. They are ventilated as well as you can see. 
Uh, let's jump in and take a detailed look. So here is the instrument cluster in a lot more detail. The graphics look rather nice and funky. Has paddle shifters, cruise control buttons around here and the volume buttons around here. The center console is what is really, really interesting. So what Tata has done is that they have moved all the controls that you normally don't use way too often onto this nice screen, just like Volvo. So the seats get massage function, the aircon controls are in the screen, and all the media controls are, of course, on the screen as well. The vents, now the vents are rather interesting too. They're not the conventional vents and they are based on the Dyson principle, which a lot of you would have studied in physics. The secondary display, you may be curious what all does it do. So it can show you all the information that you don't normally need while driving. So it can show you the navigation details if the passengers want to take a look at it and guide you. It can show you the music information, your show, social media feed, the weather information and a lot more information. So it really opens up quite a lot. The wood here looks really rather premium. Now the sound system I've been told is a really, really high end system that has been de developed by Tata with the help of some experts. It is not branded like the other cars like JBL or Harman Kardon, but they want us to believe that it will sound really, really good. Now, since all the controls have moved on to the screen and currently the car doesn't have a gear lever, there's a lot of space in between the front seats and both the front seats also get a rather comfortable armrest. So guys, that is all about the interiors. All right, guys, that's it for this video. It was a quick first look at the Tata Motors E-Vision. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe to Motorbeam for more such videos coming from the Geneva Motor Show pretty soon.